Hey, Shock English teachers. My name is Ronaldo, and right now I'm going to be talking to you about using Edmodo here, Shock English. Well, let's start with uh, understanding what is Edmodo about, what it does, um, what are the benefits for students. Actually, this is, before talking about the benefits, I want to talk about how it works and what you got to do as a teacher. This is the first thing that you gotta do. Well, you gotta create your teacher account. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to create that teacher's account right now. So in order to use Edmodo, you'll want to take the first step in getting started by signing up as a teacher and creating your teacher account. So, well, your teacher account will let you join other groups for training, uh, and PD, but also will give you the ability to create your own groups for your classroom. Uh, well, the sign up process is just incredibly simple and it will take you no time at all. So let's just get you started here with creating your teacher account. Um, let's go to Edmodo. You go to edmodo.com and then you're going to go here to teachers and then you enter your email address. It's just that simple. So let me just type in this one. And then you create a password for it. And right here, like sign up for free. Then the next thing you're going to, uh, Edmodo is going to ask you is for your school name. So you want to connect with Shock English. You can just type in Shock English. Shock English right here, Shock English Imperatriz, right? Then you connect with that school. Now you're associated with the following school, Shock English Imperatriz Brazil. Then click on next step. Then you're gonna update your student, your teacher profile and whatnot. Let me just update this here real quick. Then your name, then you have to select here what you teach and you just go, um, Tell us what you teach here. You can just go with uh, grade and then subject area. You can choose language arts. Then next thing you can upload a profile photo and um, then they're going to ask you which communities you want to follow because it's interesting that you follow these communities because then you get information about use the use of technology in the classroom and it's amazing because you get lots of cool stuff people post every day and there's like this community that helps you find out the best tools to use in the classroom so i, I like to follow the language arts so go ahead and follow the language art community also you want to go with computer technology for education so definitely one of those that you want to go for then you go to your home page well now that your teacher account is created you definitely want to you know pro upload a profile picture so your students can uh, visualize and identify you when they receive uh, notes and updates from you and next thing you want to do now is to create groups okay and when creating a group it's real simple another real simple thing as well and like everything in edmodo is like that real simple to do so you go ahead and click on the plus sign and click on create then you're going to give your group a name it's important that you maintain the standard uh, of creating groups here at chalk english which is Basically, you type in first your name. Uh, that's how I name myself here, Junior Guerrero. That's my name. And so uh, that's my last name. And yeah, my last name basically backwards. But uh, that's basically how I people call me, so Junior Guerrero. And so next thing you want to do, Junior Guerrero. And the next thing, you want to use a dash. And then Monday... Monday and Wednesday mm, say six to seven two thousand fourteen point two. That's how you describe your group. Then you select a grade and click on none, none, and then 
language arts, the subject area, then select ESL or just English, whatever. Create. Expected group size, then you know, you know how many students are you're going to bring into this group. So you usually expect eleven to fifteen students in this group. So, and then you can describe your group as saying, uh, "This is a red one group." You know, just describe the way you want to, and if you don't want to describe, it's fine. You just click on finish then you automatically generate a new group. So yeah, now the next thing you wanna do is share the group code with your students so that they can immediately join your group. And the students can sign up by using this code here that appears here on this panel, right here on the left side. And you, you what you do is next thing you're gonna do is copy this code and give this code to the students. That's how they are going to sign up. Now, well, the next thing you want to do is create your groups. After creating your groups, you're going to create all your groups, all the groups that you have. And the next thing you want to do is to connect with the school. Well, in the beginning, you connected with the school as a whole. But I want you now to connect with a specific teacher. Let's say it's the head teacher. It's Mr. Shock, what we call Mr. Shock. And then what you got to do is connect all these groups that you created with Mr. Shock. So what I would recommend that you do is create all your groups, boom, 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 create them all. Then you go ahead and you copy all the codes. Let's just say I created five groups. Then I like you go ahead and copy the codes. Then you can just open a, a notepad here and then you just copy the, the, the codes and go um, Monday, Wednesday, six to seven. So I just know that this code refers to this group here right now. I'm gonna guide you through a process of connecting your account with Mr. Shock right now. And um, it's really simple as well. And you're only gonna have to do this once. So the first thing you want to do is to copy all your group codes into a notepad and then you're going to put, identify that code for each group. Next thing you want to do is log out, right? Because now you're going to get into Mr. Shock's account, Mr. Shock English, which is the head teacher. And later on, I'll be explaining to you why it's necessary to go through this process. But right now, I'm just going to tell you what to do. Well, you go, you're going to have to use these credentials that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, it's Imperatriz at Shock English. I'm going to put it right here so, so you guys can see. Okay. Um, the credentials are, well, the email is... Um, Imperatriz at shockenglish.com. Okay, that's the email. And the password is that old, same old, same old password that we always use. So seven capital X, so K eight M A capital X nine. So if you want to pause this video right now, pause it, and then you copy the code onto your notepad somewhere. Go ahead and do it. Well, now you copy the, the credentials that I just gave you onto this dashboard here, or onto this panel. So just go ahead and put a thesisshockenglish.com. I have it saved here already. I'm just gonna log in. Well, after that, you're going to be logged in as, a, as the head teacher. And I want you to do that right now because uh, you want to connect your groups with this teacher right here. So connecting your, your groups with this teacher is really simple. You just click again on groups and um, hold on, I'm just gonna change the language here to English. Changing the language to English is really simple. You can just go here on idiomas if it's in Portuguese. Then you go and choose English. Then it's automatically gonna, yeah, give you the English page for it. Um, so now you create click on the plus sign and you click on join instead of creating now you're joining you're, you're you're connecting this this teacher here 
with your groups. Um, and you click on join. Yep. So now you copy that code. Remember that you got the codes from your classes. Awesome. So now you copy it here. Boom. And you click on join. And the message is group joined successfully. Now you can see the group right here. Junior Kehado Monday, Wednesday, 6 to 7, 2014.2. So it means that your group has already been created and it is connected with Mr. Shock. Now you do that for all your groups. Okay. Copy all the codes and connect them all with Mr. Shock. That's basically it. Now the next step, well, you created your groups, you connected them with Mr. Shock. Now Mr. Shock is basically a member. He's a head teacher. It's like he's monitoring. He's looking at your groups. And then now what you want to, to do is to make Mr. Shock a co-teacher, keyword here, you want to make Mr. Shock English a co-teacher in your groups. Because right now you might be connected with him, you might be connected with the school, but if he's not a co-teacher, then his access to your groups is limited. So you want to expand that access. So what you do is um, log out again, and then now, you're going to connect with Mr. Now you're going to make Mr. Shock a um, co-teacher. And then you may be asking, how do you do that? Well, it's really simple. You do that by simply logging in in your teacher's account. All right, let's just log in here. I, that account I created right now. Let's go here. Mm, let me show you how to do it. So now that you logged in in your account, your own account, not Mr. Shock, your own teacher's account. You know, each teacher has the, have their own um, uh, individual account. So you go ahead and go to that group that you connected with Mr. Shock, click on it. Then you click on members, okay? The members of the group are you and Mr. Shock. Here you look at the members. You see, you review which students have joined your groups and manage member settings. This member here, Mr. Shock English, is a teacher. He just connected with you. Just connected with him, right? And now you click on More, and then it's gonna show you some access settings. And you, he's a teacher member. He's not a co-teacher. So now you click on Co-teacher, and there you go. It's import if it's in Portuguese, it's gonna show as Acesso de Professor. So anyway. So go ahead and click on co-teacher and now automatically it shows that Mr. Shock is a co-teacher. Well, you're good to go. That's all you needed to know about how to connect, how to set up your account here at Shock English so you can use it with your students. Well, the next thing you want to do is copy this code here and give this code to your students so you show them you, so you, uh, you connect with them. Well, about the video that shows the students how to connect with Shock English, how to connect with your group, uh, there's another video for this. So I'm not going to explain it right now. If you want to watch the video, just contact the administrator, the coordinator, and he's going to give you the video for that specific, uh, a specific part, that specific uh, purpose, all right? So go ahead and... Um, do that right now and I'm going to record another video right now showing how to use Edmodo and how to use note, alert, assignment, quiz, and poll. And then you're going to understand why you had to connect with Mr. Shock right now. Okay? So that's it. That's basically it in this video. I hope you, you got it. I hope you got the big picture and that's it. Take care.